Hey guys, it's Strong Mom. Thanks for stopping by. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications to keep up with all of my latest videos and live streams. For now, let's get into the video. In today's video, we are going to talk about sending mail in the game. So there's different ways that you can do this. You can send just a letter or you can actually send an item as well. I'm running out to my mailbox next to my house. If you have not moved your mailbox, this is where it will be located. I'll show you later how you can move it. But right now I'm showing you that you can actually get letters from your own villagers and you can even get letters from other friends and also from the Nook shopping app on your phone. If you notice that I had a lot of items from Nook shopping, I like to keep them in my mailbox so that it kind of is like an extra inventory space without using up my spaces in here. So I just showed you also that you can move your mailbox anywhere. It doesn't have to be beside your house. It can be anywhere on your island that you want it to be. Right now I am looking through my inventory trying to find something for my bestie and I'm going to get some wrapping paper and I'm also going to wrap it up and we're going to go mail it off to her in just a second. A little side note, if you didn't realize that you can wrap gifts, you actually can. And you can buy wrapping paper from Nook's Cranny and you can get it in all sorts of different colors so that you can make your items that you give away wrapped up in people's special favorite colors. Now we're off to actually mailing the letter. You do this through your airport. I got here and I saw that Stitches had a bubble. Sorry buddy, you're not leaving. When you get to your airport, you'll see a mail stand off to the right. It will cost you 200 bells to send a letter, but you can send a letter to anybody on your island. You can send some letters to your future self and you can send some letters to your friends. I'm going to choose to send mine to Magrana. She is my best friend, and so I'm going to send her a little fall card along with a gift. The cards always have a few that are like a special for the season going on right then and there, and then they have their normal ones always. If you look down here, I just hit the button that is add a present. So I added my wrapped gift onto the card and I'm gonna send it with 200 bells. Orival is going to do his whatever Orival does and he is going to send my mail over to my bestie in her mailbox. All right, next I'm gonna send a letter to a villager on my island. I love Anakati. I think she is so underrated. I think she's the best. So I'm gonna send her some mail. It is always fun to get mail from villagers because they say the most random things and you're just like, wait, what are you even talking about? But I sent her a letter that said spooky and she's gonna love it. <laughs> I'm going to send one more letter and it's gonna be to my future self. I have never done this before, but it could be fun to give myself a little pep talk for the future. So I'm gonna send myself a card that says happy fall and I'm gonna mark it for uh, 1025 and we will see what that card says on 1025. Time hop! Guess what day it is? October 25th and we are gonna see what kind of mail I got from my past self. <laughs> oh yeah it did, it even said past strong mom. How cute is that? Anyway, I hope that you learned a little bit about the mail system in Animal Crossing. If you did, leave me a comment down below. Let me know who you're sending your mail to. As always, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!